what's up guys so um first of all uh my lighting in my room is being crappy so that's why i'm in a bathroom so yeah please excuse the echo if i echo a little bit because it's like the only place i can find where there is enough lighting for me to make this video um second of all uh sorry i look like shit i'm just going to the gym in a little bit and i don't feel like doing my hair and stuff because i'm getting sweaty and gross sorry about that that was my phone so yeah that's that's why I'm all bummy looking. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this week's uh, topic is, um, or inspirational topic, is candy. And the candy I chose is actually like a candy that we don't really like hear about anymore. Like it's something that um, I guess like was really in when I was younger, but I don't think I've even seen it like in stores anymore. So um, the candy that I was inspired by was Sour Warheads. Do you guys remember those? Oh my gosh, those were my favorite growing up. Um, uh, I really liked them. Those were like my favorite candy. I really like sour stuff, so those were like my favorite. So I was inspired by that. And I didn't really have like, I'm, I'm not really like tech savvy, so I don't know how to like put a picture in or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you guys on my phone, so sorry about that. So, um, yeah, I chose uh, Sour Warheads. And these were the colors that I was inspired by because I guess those were like the main flavors. Um, I didn't, so I decided to do like a makeup look. And it's not like true to color, but it's kind of like what I had on hand and what looked to me was kind of similar to that. Um, so let me show you guys that. Um, so this is, sorry, let me move my bangs out of the way so you guys can see a little bit. Um, so this is um, the look. Um, it's just um, purple, black, a little bit of green and yellow and some pink. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of bright on this side. Can you guys see that better? So, yeah, that's that's the makeup look. Um, so, because it's kind of, like, bold and, like, really, really dark and um, stuff, I decided to go with, like, a, um, just, like, a very light pink cheek. So, it's, like, really, really light pink. And then just, like, a nude lip because... Yeah, um, it's too much going on in my eyes to really do anything else to my face. So that was kind of like the makeup look that I went with. I tried to incorporate most of the colors that I could, but I couldn't get all of them in. Just kind of like the ones that were, to me, were like more of the main colors. So, um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's not like amazing, but, you know, that's what it reminded me of. So... Moving on to the um, topic, um, opinion topic. So this week's opinion topic was teen pregnancy, I believe. Yeah, teen pregnancy. And um, <laughs> the person that comes to mind is the stereotype that um, the Mexicans or the Latina girls are always the first ones to get pregnant. <laughs> I know like that sounds racist or that sounds like stereotypical, but I'm Mexican and I find that there is a little bit of truth behind all stereotypes. And I know some people might not like that, some people might not think that that's true, but in my opinion I feel like there is a little bit of truth in all of the uh, stereotypes. And um, I mean it's true, there is a lot of Latin and Mexican, um, Hispanic uh, girls out there who get pregnant at a very young age. Um, I don't think that that's a bad thing and I don't think that's a good thing. That's all personal preference, but, um, like, I think that there's a reason for that, or, I mean, this is, this is my belief on it. Um, in Mexico, we don't have a very nice government and there isn't a lot of opportunities for, um, anyone at all. So a lot of young women believe that their only way out is to, you know, have a family with somebody and live your life. Because that's basically, if you want to be a successful person, usually it's the man being successful and the women are at home taking care of children. And, you know, making sure that the home is suitable for when her husband comes uh, after work, comes home after work. So, I mean, I know that sounds totally like anti-feminist and all this stuff but that's just how it is in Mexico and I know because I am Mexican and I 
have family in Mexico and I know how it is and that's just how it is there and I, I don't think it's very nice but it's that's just how it is and um, that's why I think that a lot of um, immigrants and Mexicans who come down from Mexico um, have, that live that life I feel that they think it's okay I'm not saying that it is and that it isn't I'm not saying that's truly what it is that's just my opinion on it um, and it's not just them getting pregnant it's everyone you know so um, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about like abstinence and all that stuff because like that's totally awkward and you guys don't want to hear me talk about random shit like that but um, what I did want to talk about was like how important it is for young girls to not feel alone when they're pregnant. I don't want to talk about what happens if you do get pregnant and stuff like that. I just want to tell you guys, you know, like, if you are a young girl who is pregnant, I know it can be so scary for you guys. And I know this because, um, I just had a really close person to me who is, um, under age, um, who just recently got pregnant. And, um, I know that she was dead scared to tell her parents and, uh, how everyone would react, but... I think that you guys always have to know that I know that you're you're scared to tell your parents and stuff like that for fear of rejection and um, of course they're going to be mad you know they're going to be disappointed at first but I mean in the end it's like they're still your parents they're going to love you regardless and um, I I think that it's important to let the people around you know what's going on and not feel alone and don't feel that if you are a teenage mother that it is the end of the world because. Um, my cousin, she was she got pregnant at the age of 15, and she is 26 now, and she has two lovely boys, and her life is good. You know, a lot of people think that once you get pregnant, um, you know that that's the end of it, and that your life is pretty much done, and you're never going to finish school, you're never going to do anything but be a homemaker, and that's not true. Um, now, everyone just, you know, has children and just goes back to school and has a career and they become really successful women and I don't think that everyone should say that just because you are a teenage mother that you have automatically become a failure and I don't think that's true at all so um I know that that really doesn't have to do much with like the inspirational topic or I don't know if that's what the answer that you know everyone's looking for but I just think that um it's important to let people know that you know family and friends are a strong crutch in moments like these and to never feel alone and never feel that just because you are a teenage mother that you are any lesser than anyone else or that um, life is going to be any harder on you. There will be a little bit more obstacles but you know some people might think that this is a horrible thing but it's actually I believe it's a blessing in disguise you know and um, I don't think that there's anything wrong with being a teenage mother. I don't condone it like I'm not telling everyone to go out there and have children but I think that if you have a child I don't think that it's something that is so horrible you know and um, that's just my opinion on teen pregnancies just because I have quite a few friends who are younger than me or my age and have children and I'm only 20 you know like and I have friends I have a lot of friends who a lot of friends who are my age and have a, a four-year-old, you know, or two kids even, you know, so I just think that there's nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that because every single person that I know that has a kid is so happy, you know, but this isn't me saying go out there and have a kid, you know, this isn't me saying that. This is me saying that if you are a person who is in that situation, then I'm there with you, you know, I'm happy for you and, you know, I will be your crutch and I will help you know in any way that I can and letting you know that your family is going to be there as well you know that's just it's not the end of the world and that's just my view on teen pregnancy you know um, it's something that's happening all around us all the time and it's not something that's horrible as many people may believe you know I hate it when people say oh pobrecita you know she she's so young I hate it when people say that because that's not always the case so yeah, that's just uh, my opinions on that and yeah, so I hope this doesn't like annoy anyone or make anybody mad or anything. That's just my opinion on it. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this week. Um, so I hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I hope you guys uh, have a lovely week and um, 
comment and rate if you guys like or if you guys want to lash out at me or anything like that. Um, so I'll talk to you guys all next week and I hope you guys all have a lovely remainder of the week. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.